So I was recently editing my Bricks website and I wanted to add a sticky header. And what happened was as I scrolled down my website, my blog post, I have my table of contents, which when you click it goes to that area on the page. But I noticed, let's just say I clicked on this one here, the title of that heading was being hidden by the sticky header. And so I needed a way to offset that. And the, the fix is actually very simple. Uh, if we go up to my live website now where I've added the fix, so there it is there, we can click to a heading. So I can click to that one there and you can see it shows underneath or a bit lower on the page and it, it caters for the sticky header. So it's all using a little bit of CSS code. So if I go to articles, and it's just here, add offset to the smooth scroll and bricks border. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of today's video to go and get the code here, but I'll show you how to go and implement that. Now, if we go to bricks and then templates and we find our header template and we edit with bricks and then go to settings and then template settings and header, you'll see that's where we go and add the sticky heading uh, setting. So I just wanted to cover that in case people didn't know that's how you go ahead and do it. But I just want to show that I have gone ahead and applied that here in my demo website. So if we go back and just reload the demo website and we go down a bit, we can see that we do in fact have the sticky header. But if I do click, it is being hidden. So let's go ahead to the blog post. and I'm just going to get this CSS code. Now, if you're not sure where to add CSS code, the easiest place to do that would be to go back to your dashboard and then go here under bricks, you can go to settings and then under custom code where it says custom CSS, you could just paste that in there. Now you want to adjust these values here, 130 pixels and 80 pixels based on the height of your header. So these work for my header, but if you were to go and make uh, your header larger than mine, you'll need to add more offsets. So you would just go ahead and increase that number. Now, if we have a look at the blog post, what we're doing is we're setting a default here on the HTML element and the scroll padding top is 130 pixels. That's because this here, this heading, it sort of worked out that I just needed 130 pixels offset. But if I go and have a look at my mobile header and I just pull this in, you can see that my mobile head is a little bit more, it's not as tall. And so I decrease the offset from 130 to only 80 pixels for my mobile header. So when the max width is uh, seven, six, seven pixels all smaller, so that's the maximum. So from zero pixels up to seven, six, seven pixels, it's gonna be 80 pixels. And then larger than that, it goes to 130 pixels offset. So that's why we have both of them there. So if we come back here and I was just to go down and save settings, if I go back to this blog post where we were having the headings hidden and I just reload the page. Now, if I go to my table of contents and I click on one of these, redirect, you can see now it has that offset here. So it's under my header. So just a quick video here today. And again, all that code is on the blog post that is in the description below of this video. And with that said, I'm Grant Ambrose. I teach people how to build their own websites for their own business without needing to hire a developer. And I'd recommend watching either of these two videos here on the screen. This one here is the one that YouTube thinks you're gonna like the most.